losing the mother of a family is one of the worst tragedies which a family can go through. Infants as well as mothers, they are very precious. They are very precious to any society. And we in Sikkim are very worried. Every five minutes, three women and 20 babies die, and 60 women are disabled at childbirth. Most of these occur in Africa and the Indian subcontinent. Most of these are preventable. Even if you can make a difference in saving one life, it's going to be a wonderful achievement It stands for Collaborative Action in Lowering Maternity and Counter Deaths. It's a collaboration of several organizations who came together under the banner of Rotary International to produce a multifaceted, innovative program to help improve the health of women and their newborn babies. These women are affected by Three delays in going to the safety of hospital delivery. Delay in diagnosis of serious emergency conditions by village birth attendants. Delay in transport to hospital. Delay in receiving professional help after arriving in hospital. CALM counters the effects of all three delays to protect the health of large number of women still delivering at home. The concept starts with us training a group of people to become master trainers. They then go on to train another group in their own local language under our supervision and coaching. That group then also trains more people in the community. This cascading effect ensures that the knowledge we impart is continually taught creating a sustainable, culturally relevant and locally owned intervention. To create a group of excellent trainers among the local population who would be a resource and that would, they would carry this good work into the future. We used modern skills training and knowledge transfer methods, including use of high fidelity simulators. The way you are teaching us really, it is, I think it will make us um, enlightened for a more longer time. The way we were given training was exemplary. Dealing in our rural setup and uh, the new ideas, new types of techniques and medicines what you have so, so that part we really learned it so I think it will be very helpful to reduce the maternal mortality in our seeking setup also. We want to drill our uh, labour room staff, our OT staff in the same way so that they know 
how to respond in a given emergency, how to, to minimize the reaction time and the response time and maximize the results and the efforts. We endeavoured to create a training curriculum which was fresh and innovative. Traditionally, it has been delivered in the form of lectures, which by nature can often be dry and depend on the charisma and public speaking abilities of the person delivering them. We purposefully kept these to a minimum and substituted them with videos carefully selected from the large bank of resources within Maternity Training International and the Global Library of Women's Medicine. This form of interactive and mainly audiovisually based delivery ensures that the theoretical component of each module is covered in a consistent way, irrespective of who is teaching them. Feedback to date has confirmed that trainees find this sort of teaching much more fun, and if learning is a fun process, one is more likely to retain the information conveyed. Finally, because these videos were given to delegates on USB keys, and because they're also freely available on the MATI and GLOME websites, Anybody can look at them at any time on the computer, a smartphone or tablet. It is far more likely that one will go back to refresh their memory with regards to a skill by watching a video demonstration again and again than by going back to their lecture notes. Very for the first time we are attending such type of programming scheme. Very interactive session and a very good event was. Less of theory, more of practical, which always uh, enjoyed this part because you won't get bored of things. It's very really interesting and very relaxing. These flip charts were translated into the local language. On one side there's a series of pictograms for the trainee to follow and on the other are written instructions for the trainer to explain. Consequently they allow any trainee an equal opportunity to understand the important messages conveyed regardless of their literary level. These flowcharts were inspired by passenger safety cards found in the airline industry. In common with these, step-by-step -step pictorial instructions are provided for the emergencies and can be utilised both as a refresher and a quick reference guide. And we plan to put up these all over the walls so that they are there for ready reference for anyone and whoever is there and is handling the situation. We were inspired by the local trainees and together we came up with novel, innovative, low-cost solutions to allow simulation training with minimal resources. For example, we simulated the female pelvis using only our hands to allow practice of maneuvers for shoulder dystocia. We also created an episiotomy trainer out of locally sourced everyday material such as sponges, rubber sheets, cardboard boxes, staples and screws. We mentor all the faculty, building personal relationships and ties that can continue even after our return to the United Kingdom. We give guidance, support and inspiration to empower them to become confident leaders so that after we leave, they can continue to run their own courses. Our mentees flourished under our guidance and both they and those they subsequently trained made us feel very proud. We were overwhelmed by the welcome and hospitality of the local people as well as a supportive and positive media response. There were articles published in the newspaper highlighting our activities and meetings with the government officials. We had two interviews at the All India Radio. Dr. Vinita Nair. भारत वर्ष में जगह जगह देवी के मंदिर हैं। देवी की पूजा की जाती है। वहीं हम अपने जन्म की तरह उपेक्षित क्यों हैं? क्या आप जानते हैं? And we rounded off with an hour-long feature episode, the number one talk show in the region on Nayama TV. Data collection, monitoring, and scientific evaluation are important components of our ongoing program. Under the guidance of our collaborator, Maternity Training International. We're delighted to find that not only did those that we trained achieve very high post-training scores, but the group they subsequently trained achieved similarly higher ones, even though this group started from an initially lower level of knowledge. It was quite remarkable. But they are doing such a good job. I think everyone should take the opportunity to learn from them. Ownership and support was given by local governments in partnership with local Rotary. 
and in collaboration with stakeholders such as women's groups. The findings of over seven randomized controlled trials have shown that exposure to women's groups was associated with a 37% reduction in maternal mortality and a 23% reduction in neonatal mortality. This is just one of the aspects of the CALMED collaborative project. This revolutionary concept opens the way for widespread scaling up and extension in many other areas. For instance, we'll be going to Bihar and Jharkhand in a few months. It's a good model because it's based on evidence. It has a top-down and bottoms-up approach, and of course, it empowers local women's groups, it empowers local health professionals, and it empowers local Rotary. And I could see the enthusiasm in the participants and the way you were conducting it, it was really good. It was, it was very interesting and we, we like it. There was lots of fun interaction. In India, we felt that it was very, very essential to address the issue of maternal health and maternal deaths. This is a, is a marvelous idea. We are all concerned about maternal and infant mortality. Our government is committed to promoting women's health in the community. Even if you can make a difference in saving one life, two lives, a dozen lives, is going to be a wonderful achievement. It is indeed a great honor for me to give this vote of thanks on behalf of the Rotary Club of Gangtok. Collaborative action in lowering maternity encounter deaths is the need of the hour.